have I ever been judged, discriminated against, shamed for, for what I was wearing? Um, yes, I have. Hello, thank you for answering this call. Being discriminated against due to clothing. Do not! <laughs> you look like you're happy that this is a thing. Yeah, so basically that's the question. Someone like treated you differently because of what you were wearing. So yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so like at home, it's usually like mom, but like our dad does it too. Women are expected to dress super conservative, not show off their legs, not show off their belly. Uh, the earliest experience I have is like definitely with my parents and their views of like how I dress. My grandma would always be like, why don't you wear makeup? Why don't you wear your hair down more? Unfortunately, my father likes to make comments about my clothes most of the time. You know, all the parents are like, don't wear anything like too much or else everyone's gonna talk about you. And wow. boys wore dumb stuff on their shirt and no one said anything. They'll never like comment or anything on like how our brother's dressing. I do have a younger brother and my father leaves the house in like muscle t-shirt or sometimes he'll like leave the house without a shirt on um, to do like to run to the car or something and mm -hmm. it's perfectly fine for them. I was really good in that class but she would definitely favor other people over me who dress differently. I've never seen him say anything to a guy. It's literally always the girl. I got pulled out of lunch for it and I had to go home and change my shirt. That's so sad. And she would physically come up to me if she saw my shirt was too short and pull my shirt down. Like teachers would literally go around with like rulers to measure your um, the seam of your pants. I wasn't in violation of any dress code. I was just expressing myself. Like the principal came to me and was like, that's very inappropriate. My teachers would actually send complaints to my mom. It's just ridiculous to me how clothing in general, when it comes to men, isn't really a problem, but God forbid a girl shows a little bra strap or a little bit of cleavage. It causes an uproar. A lot of like hip hop is like sex, drugs, and girls. It reduces women to a very low point and holds them as objects. Not almost every sport, but basically every sport that like a woman would want to participate in gets sexualized somehow. And I think it's just so messed up. You know, other people that are people of color, like I've been, um, you know, judged and sexualized since freaking mm -hmm. elementary. <laughs> Thin girls and medium and cur like curvy girls are like treated differently in terms of what they wear. Because I don't have like that much curves, I feel like I can get away with it more. In middle school when I was having my most like intense body image issues, I would work out for two hours every day, but I wouldn't eat any carbs. I wouldn't like eat anything of substance. You know, black women, you know, develop differently. They have different bodies and like things like that. So mm -hmm. I've been discriminated in that kind of sense. He was kind of a creepier teacher. He like disrupted class and he's like, are you wearing lipstick? So they shame you because you wear too much makeup. And then when someone doesn't wear makeup, she's like, oh, maybe she should fix her eyebrows. Maybe she needs some mascara. Or... It just, it's kind of upsetting because I feel like guys don't have to worry about that. Even though I was like wearing my uniform and doing what I was supposed to be doing, I was still often criticized. A lot of guys have like made comments of like, oh, smile or like, oh, like, I'm just literally minding my own business. And get hate comments for being too skinny. But then there are girls who get hate comments for being too fat. And there are girls that get hate comments for being so average. If they knew that male guests were coming over, like they would be forced to change into something a bit more appropriate. When you're a kid, like a little girl, and a man comes over to your house and someone tells you, you're like, you need to go put on like longer shorts because so-and-so is coming. It's like, if he's going to sexualize a child, like that's his problem and yeah. maybe he shouldn't be in your house. People have fetishes for everything, right? Literally. So when your parents tell you dress moderately, well, there are people that, you know, are into that and there are people that are into all sorts of stuff they make dress codes so you like are less distracted in school i guess he said i was like distracting others by wearing that yeah. there's really nothing you can do to stop people from looking at you can i be honest like yeah you could say really whatever you want doesn't matter what you're wearing you will get catcalled literally a group of us got catcalled and like we weren't even wearing anything and they're like damn girl you walk i like how you walk and this car guys just drove past me and my friends and was like 
hello ladies and it's just like do you think we're gonna be like oh my god hey we like do you want to like date me older guys like clearly over age started like hollering at me and stuff or walking to class and there would be people on the street like catcalling honking of horns catcalling just like real uncomfortable stuff or like just like unwarranted hey cutie you look good today and i would just keep walking but there was like a couple times where men have like honked at me from their car it makes the people who are getting catcalled feel like disgusting about themselves fully covered head to toe like i'm a hijabi so me getting catcalled i don't know i feel like it's kind of a form of evidence that you know catcalling isn't about you know someone complimenting another person because they're showing skin or like they're dressed in a certain way literally it's just you know <laughs> men trying to have attention over women i mean uh power over women it's sort of like women are raised to be careful instead of raising men to just like be respectful and they won't hold guys accountable for their actions which pisses me off because if their mentality is like if i were to get harassed or something it's not going to be the guy's fault it's going to be my fault chances are they're going to be like what were you wearing who are you with why were you out so late stuff like that so it's very annoying like if i say i have a boyfriend it's like oh okay because they respect your boyfriend more than they respect your answer yeah like, or it's like there's the very big boys will be boys thing and that essentially saying like if you don't dress appropriately, you get what you deserve versus, like, the men. I'm literally, like, a guy from behind me, like, grabbing my butt. What? And I... That's literally straight up assault. What? Like, especially women of color, like, our parents are telling, gift us, like, tasers and, and, oh. and spray and, like, all that. Um, we're bent over, you know, and then a guy walks by and we feel something hit our asses. Um. A guy walked up to me and he put his, like, arm around my shoulder. I don't remember what he said to me at all. He and that's why men attack women is because they don't see them as human. In a patriarchal society, men can put women down and, you know, establish laws and social practices and words that are hurtful and oppressive and repressive. But once women start feeding into it as well, it becomes so much more difficult to break those. I always felt like I'd never fit in and that the girls were always judging like what I was wearing. And it comes from both sides. Like it's, it's not something that is necessarily specific to like a certain gender of people. It's worse when women do, like, do it to other yeah. women because you're just like, you're supposed to be on my side, man. <laughs> I hated that in high school. Yeah. <laughs> All these, I'm like, girl. Girls would walk out of her class, like, crying and stuff because she would make them sit, feel so bad about what they were wearing. The public schools, from my experience, had, like, a dress code and a lot of things that, like, people don't really talk about as much is, like, the discrimination against, like, a Black girl wearing a skirt and then a white girl, you know, wearing a skirt. I'm like essentially wearing the exact outfit as another person, but like I got like called out, I guess, for like my outfit. So there were two other women who also wore biker shorts similar to mine, but out of all three of us, only I had to change, and the other two women were white women. I remember there was this one week that my mom was like, You're gonna dress in African clothes. And I was like, That's not a good idea. And like, people would just like say small comments about, like, Oh, where's that from? Oh, that's strange. Why? why? Even though there, there might be this universal experience among women in general, there's an added layer to that when it comes to women of color because the most unprotected woman is a black woman. This is a girl last year who told me I dressed like a middle school white girl. A what white girl? And a middle school white girl. Oh. Yeah. That's so that made me very insecure for the longest time. It more so happened when I was like younger, but like you're the whitest black person I know. Like stuff like oh. that. That's just, it is racist because it's like, how do they expect you to act or to dress? There's no like way of dressing white or way of dressing black. It's and everyone's embarrassed about themselves like all the time. I was very, very unhappy and disgusted with the way I looked. And it takes so long for me to build trust. You know, like, I, I feel like people are gonna watch me. So I just always felt like I had a lot more 
eyes and judgment. I used to be super insecure about my thighs, like super insecure. I hated the way they looked. I was like, why are they so flabby and out there? We should just be able to do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Like we're not doing it for anybody. We're doing it for ourselves. The things that I wear, I wear them because I feel confident in them and they make me, they make me feel better. And like, I love makeup and I love doing my hair, but like, I don't always want to do it. My confidence went up from like just being with all girls because I'm like, who the fuck is going to tell me anything? Like I could show up in a clown suit and they'd be like, oh, <laughs> cool, Grace is here. Really the question you should be asking is why do you feel insecure? But now, I love my thighs. These, these girls, they jiggle around. They like voluptuous or whatever. You know, like we stand thick thighs in this household and all kinds of thighs in general. But... God. No, that's a mood. I feel like this was very therapeutic for me because I got to rant. <laughs> oh my god. I just keep thinking like future generations, we're gonna change it. We're gonna hold men accountable. We're gonna hold people who sexualize people accountable for their freaking actions. And yes, I believe in that. That was perfect. Thank you so much.